So with this exercise, horses get a complete new feeling for the body, a complete new well level of body awareness, and uh, they learn how they can use the body in different ways and get more mobile. With the stepping sideways in a circle, the horse learns to step under the center of gravity with the inside hind leg, and they can establish communication with the inside hind leg to engage more. And true bend in the horse's body is caused by activating the inside hind leg. It's not caused by pulling on one rein really hard. True bend is caused by the hind legs. All right, so, yeah. So another point is, as I'm asking her now to go sideways on a circle, she will bend in her body and this bend in the horse's body causes the horse to relax the muscles and find the stretch more easy. Oh, my sin. And it gymnasticizes the horse really nicely. Uh -huh. First I ask the head down. Yeah. Good. Then, oh. Gonna position a bit different that you can see. Voila. Good. So I ask her to head down. And then I'm asking her to step sideways. Yeah. Good. Really gently. There. Good girl. Yes. You see now the height of the head is kind of uh, at the shoulder joint, the mouth is at the shoulder joint, a little bit lower. I don't hold the head all the way to the ground. And for in the beginning, I'm happy if she does just a few steps that she tries. So what is important when doing this exercise is that you don't walk backwards. That you cross your feet in front of each other. Yes, and this is why it's important that you teach your horse first this exercise about backing up with the head low. Yeah, because here yeah, she pushed forward. Yeah, I'm stopping the forward push. Or I'm telling the horse, no, don't, the door forward is closed by giving her a feel here. If you didn't teach your horse to back up first, your horse might push really hard on you. Look, girl, huh? 